Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is part three of a series of videos that I have recorded and showed on YouTube for redesigning, redecorating, and making space in my hair studio slash fashion studio. Well, right here, this is creating a, a area for my hair studio. And anybody that rents can relate the if you have carpet in a rental you can't remove the carpet so what i wanted to do was create my own wood floor that's the only downfall to renting okay that's another story but anyway yes i wanted my own floor i want my own platform area for my hair studio to separate the fashion part from the hair it's just a whole big studio but here we go so what, what my husband is doing is creating the subfloor for my laminate floor. And he's adding this bracket of wood in the middle of two sheets so that each sheet does not buckle in the middle where they divide it. So he's creating a, a wood bracket. And in his hand, he has the wood, the wood glue. So you would use wood glue it's very strong you don't have to nail anything um the the liquid the liquid nail glue does work wonders so that is what we're doing right now while you're waiting why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh give me a thumbs up for like and hit the notification bell to receive alerts for other videos Okay, so after you have glued the two pieces together and put a little weight to it so that it can kind of um, stick a little bit, get a little tacky or um, just in its rightful place, you want to use a staple gun and that'll help hold everything together so that this glue can dry on both sides of the wood. Okay, so after you have placed the glue on one piece, then you go to the other piece and uh, repeat the same process. After you have completed step one and two, which is um, gluing and then stapling the pieces together, you definitely will need some type of weight. So I use these little weights that we had in the, in the furnace room and some wood. And that's applying like some heavy pressure to it along the length of the wood. Okay, so we have allowed the glue to dry for a day. This is day two, and these are the floors that I purchased to lay and make my studio platform. These are laminate, uh, very reasonable. Um, everybody don't have a Ollie's, but that's where I got them if you're in Michigan. Okay, so after three failed attempts of placing this floor, vertically in the camera uh it didn't work so i had to go horizontal um they just weren't sticking and i had to kind of come up with a concept because i'm on carpet and it's not going up under the panels of the wall they're not they weren't holding together so i came up with my own concept i'm using um masking tape gorilla glue tape to help hold these things in place because the more i was putting on the more 
one would pop a loose. And they do snap in place. And they snap in place pretty well, but it seems like the more you add, uh, the more come loose. And that's due to the fact that it's not sitting up under the panel of the wall. Okay, so after another probably two to three failed attempts, I finally finished. I had to do my tape method um, all the way through because pieces kept um, buckling and coming to loose. So yeah, I did the tape method up underneath and it's holding in place pretty good. This is the finish. It's not A1, but for a beginner, I would say I did pretty good for my first time putting the floor down. So, yep, this is my platform floor for my hair studio.